Hello, this is James George with Create a Beacon, and today I've got a tutorial for you regarding Dreamweaver and Fluid Grid Layouts. If you haven't heard about Fluid Grid Layouts, uh, it's something that Dreamweaver integrated, I think, back in CS6. And now that I have uh, CC, they, they still kept it. Um, they've made a, a couple of minor tweaks, but it's still basically the same. And today I'm going to show you how to use Fluid Grid Layouts of Dreamweaver to create uh, flexible websites that look great on desktop, tablet, and mobile devices. And so what you're going to want to do is, let's say you're starting a new site, and I have my folder over here. And instead of, like, normally when you're creating an HTML document or, or, you know, your new website, you would just click New HTML and New CSS, and you would start creating uh, your basic layout and CSS design. Well, it's a little bit different with Dreamweaver, uh, because if you want to use Fluid Grid Layouts, you have to go down here where it says Fluid Grid Layout. I also think it is I also think you can um, get it from here too. Yep. Fluid grid layout. So file new fluid grid layout. Either one will take you to this screen. And what this is doing is it's setting up your basic framework for your uh, fluid grid website and so here what you're doing is you're setting up what your site's uh, columns are based on and so here is 4, here is 8, and here is 12. Some people like to change these um, you might change this to 16 or 18 or 24 something um, uh, of that nature really uh, you can uh, I've seen people do 12 or 24 some people like 24 to have a little more flexibility uh, but 12 is a good multiple because you have uh, you could have two columns of six you could break it up into three fours four threes uh, full width and so it's um, it, it makes it really easy to, to break things down. And so 12 is a good multiple. And this percentage here tells you how much of the screen is actually going to be site and how much is going to be margin or uh, just your your background area. And so... When you've set all this up, it's got the doc type here. Leave it, at, uh, leave it as HTML5. And you can attach your own CSS file. Or if you hit create, it will go ahead and create everything for you. And so if you just hit create, it'll start. And it'll ask you, what do you want to name your uh, style sheet? And, you know, I just use style CSS and save. And it will link everything up for you. And so in split view here, you can see that you've got your code. And you have your panel here. So I'll just flip back and forth between code view and design view so you can get a better view of what's going on. This grid container clear fix is basically what your fluid grid is inside of. And so you don't want to go outside of that to have a flexible site. You want to build everything within it. And so if you look at it visually, You've got this this little gray border is where your site is contained. And within it is where you start 
um, inserting your fluid grid divs to build your flexible layout. And so, for example, you might have this be your title. And so we'll go over to, to code and just insert uh, an H2, well, let's do H1 since it's the first title, the main title. And so once uh, you go to save the document, it uh, this menu comes up the first time you go to save your HTML document. And what this is saying is uh, the fluid grid design needs the boilerplate CSS and the respond uh, minified JavaScript. And it needs that to be able to do this, so it's going to insert those files into your site. You click OK. And so if you look, now you have the respond.min.js and you have the boilerplate CSS. It's all done automatically. And so there's our title. And so if uh, the, the, this is for the mobile layout. And so you have your four columns here. And you can see these little icons down here. And these are the tablet and the desktop. So if you, can, if you switch between these, you can see how they're laid out. And... You know, that's that's pretty simple, and it, it makes building a fluid grid layout really easy. And so, let's say you want to build, add another div. Let's say you want to add, I'm not sure, but we'll, we'll go ahead and, and insert a div. So, let's say insert div, and the important thing is to make sure that this says insert as a fluid element. If that's checked, then it will behave like it's supposed to with your fluid grid layout. And so you can give this a class of um, sidebar. Let's just let's just make something called sidebar. Okay, so you have a new div inside your fluid grid layout. It says this is the content for the div tag sidebar. And inside of here, visually, if you're a visual person, it's it's really nice to be able to build this like this. I, I do it with code. I'm used to code. Um, you know, I usually hop over to code and start doing it, you know, inside of the code view just because I feel like I have a lot more control and I it's just the way I, I was taught. It's just code. But if you're really visual and you like working visually, this is really cool. And so, let's say for the desktop, you want this div to only be um, four columns. And so what you do is, this little square here means that you can move or flex this div to be whatever width you want it to be. And so this gives you a lot of control over the width without having to calculate what percentage it's going to be for each each set, you know, whether it's if it's four columns wide, it's going to be 20.549%. You know, you don't have to do all that. You can just click and drag and right there it will tell you okay that's 11 columns and that's 91.5254 percent and so it it just does all the math for you and if you move it and you just keep moving it down you see that it says width 
0.2033% four columns. And so I want it to be four columns. I let it go. And there it is. And so there's your four column div. And you might put in the content. This is a four column div. And so makes it really easy. Now let's insert another div and I'll show you something with it. I'm just giving this a just a random class. Insert as fluid grid element. Click OK. And so it automatically puts this down on another line. You're like, OK, well, I didn't want that. I want this to be next to this div. Well, this makes it really easy. If this was going to be four, four columns as well, you just click and drag. And it's still under it, but then you've got these little menus right here. This little arrow here will make it move up a row to be next to this. And so now these two divs are next to each other. And so let's say I, I said, okay, well this was my sidebar. Maybe I want this to be my content. And I, I didn't really want it for, uh, I wanted to go uh, the eight. Just drag it back out, and it's that simple. And so now you have your sidebar, and you have your content. And it was you made this in a matter of seconds. And so now I bet you're thinking, okay, well I made them in the desktop view, but what about tablet and mobile? Well, here's the thing: once once you make it in one. Uh, screen size. It's there. It's it's based on CSS and HTML. It doesn't go away for the other uh, devices. And so you have to go through and set it up for each device, but it's, uh, it's not very time consuming. It's just a couple of minutes. And so let's say that for the tablet you wanted the uh, sidebar to be three columns and you want the content to be five and you want the content to sit up there with the sidebar just just like in the other one there it is in a matter of seconds and you flip back a to the mobile device and you want them to be full width so you just leave these as they are because they're already full width it makes building uh, flexible layouts really fast and visual and you can you can focus on building a layout without worrying uh, about you know calculating widths and all that now something that you might be interested in is all, all this is when you are trying to make this work and you want these two together, all it's doing is it's basically modifying the CSS code. Instead of clear left, clear right, or whatever, when you want when one of these divs are moving from being down below to being up next to it, you're setting it to clear none. And that's that's the really the only change to the code, but it's just doing it automatically. You don't have to go through and, and set that in the code, in the CSS. And so, in a matter of seconds, you've got a header, you've got a sidebar, you've got your content area, and then you could add another div, and you'd have your footer. And that's your basic structure for your website. And you can add other little sections in between for call to actions and things like that and it, it just lets you focus visually on the layout. I hope this helps you guys out and understand uh, Fluid Grid Layouts Dreamweaver. Uh, I'm James George and this has been Creative Beacons.